Hey guys, it's Rick, Cave Lawn Care. We're out here on uh, a Monday morning. It's been, uh, it poured the rain last night and rained this morning also. As a matter of fact, it just quit about maybe an hour ago. So we're out here and uh, what I'm gonna show you is how we try to work our schedule. Uh, this lawn we're doing now, this is a commercial property is a Tuesday, we was gonna do it tomorrow. But what we're doing, there's a lot of weed eating on this lawn here. And the boys are out here and they about got this one done. Let me show you. This is the lawn we've already done. Also have this property room there, so we're gonna start weed eating on it. But you gonna get the 800 and blow everything off? This is where the 800 comes in. It's got so much power here to pull all this wet stuff and grass on this black top. We're showing taking every bit off there. Of Larry and Danny will probably go down here and start on this hill right here. We're going to do all the trim work on this. Um, down here, we got trim to do. Uh, everything we got to trim, we will come back probably. And over there, we do that little cemetery over there also. We're going to do it. Uh, they'll probably trim everything and remove the tombstones and do everything that we normally do uh, as far as trimming. And then that way, we come back probably uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. Down in there, down in that area right in there is real wet. And we get on some, this out here is kind of a bank. It stays slick, uh, but we'll get on it probably uh, Wednesday. And uh, we'll trim and weed eat around everything that we can and uh, come back Wednesday. That way it takes us about probably, probably be able to do this from probably about an hour and a half mowing we can probably do it and uh but yeah i'm gonna show you some more of what we're gonna do today we got uh the way i got it figured and i don't think it's supposed to rain anymore today i believe we can do 14 today i'm pretty sure uh i had like 21 scheduled to do today but it ain't gonna happen because of the rain last night but uh we'll, we'll we will get a lot done but I'm just showing you how we work our schedule, maybe give you some pointers and tips. If you got any lawns that you do a lot of trimming on, or uh, you do a lot of weed eating, you'll be able to go out and uh, get a lot of that done. And if you can go back and mow it, uh, which takes a lot of time out of it too, you can go mow and uh, get a lot of that done also. I'm gonna hook this gate back here. Um, but that's what we do. I mean, we go and try to get what we can done. Because it, and now if we do this tomorrow, uh, we will have probably about 13 or 14 to do tomorrow and that won't be so bad on us doing it because uh, it'll be like 14 today and 13 tomorrow and that won't be bad and we should be right back on schedule because it's not really supposed to rain uh, anymore till uh, maybe Friday, supposed to be some, maybe showers Wednesday or something, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to hurt us. We just have to wait and see when it, when Wednesday comes. 
But if we get more, if we get 14, 13 or 14 tomorrow, we got time, we'll go ahead and start in on Wednesdays and get those. We'll try to beat the rain. But I'll show you what we got. Uh, some more properties we're going to do while this uh, we're so wet to get out and normally do your thing. We're going to do this one and that one over there. These are all solid bottoms. And that's why we're doing these. We're getting unloaded ready to go. We done another place that we're getting with this. I showed it to you last week. It's all weedy, so we got it done. This one right here made one, two, three, four, three, five we've done. And then we're going down the front in a minute and do some more. Uh, we got about five, got ten more to do down there we can do today I believe and they're all one area is what it is it helps a whole lot to have them all like one spot we unload like two times and do five and we unload again and do five more so we'll get back with you I'll show you out here what I'm gonna do this is what I'm gonna be mowing right here this over here and this bottom out here around this trailer here. <clears throat> you can see I got some water standing right here, but I won't have no problem with that, getting around that and around all this stuff here. We tell weed eat around most of that when they get done. But this is another place that's another wet one, but it's not so bad that we can't mow it. It's a solid ground. So hopefully if I don't forget, I'll get you some after. On this. this is after what we've done. Looks good. Still wet, but it turned out good though. That right there, what you're seeing there is a hole. Right there, you have to dodge it every time we mow. But it turned out good. Uh, but yeah, you can get out here and do something. I know a lot of you has got uh, a lot of uh, residentials. This is uh, like property we're doing now. We got a commercial. This right here, nobody lives here. They just hire us to keep it cut every two weeks. And it gets high, but it's not hard to cut. It don't get real thick. So it's not so hard to get take care of. But uh, Another thing you can do too on a wet day, I mean, if you have a lot of weed eating or something on a job, you can go out and you can do those jobs. You can always go back when it dries up and mow it and knock it down and it'll turn out to be a lot better for you. It may save you. I mean, you have to realize how far you have to travel and everything. But like what we're doing today is like close to home, uh, probably 15 or 20 minutes from the house. Uh, of course, now that's, that's a short drive where I live. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's a whole lot better. We done a lot, we do a lot of different weed eating, probably a lot of you do. But on wet days, we'll get out here and we do a lot of weed eating. Then we'll dodge the rain showers. Real cloudy today. You can see they, it ain't no sun out. It's all cloudy, but we'll get you some more footage. There's another one I just got finished doing. The church lot. We do it weekly. It's dried up enough, we can mow it solid. It ain't gonna be no uh, sinking in the mud or anything like that. And, uh, that's what we have to do on rainy days like this. When the rain's quit, it's cold now. But what we gotta do is just pick and choose the ones we do, and then tomorrow we'll do more. So we got, uh, I'll show you some more we gotta do. You can see, I'll pull down. 
one down here. We'll do another one. Tell you, Dory, mowed this one, got it lined out. I'm going down here and start on this other big one. Uh, he's already mowing out back and mowing that yard over there. I'll show you when we get down here. You can see where the boys are. He's already done that right in there. We're over in the netty boy and them's over here are weed eating. And I'm gonna mow this one. I'm gonna mow this and this right here. I'll get back with you in a little bit. Okay guys. I'm back. We done that place right over there. I showed you earlier. We done that one right there. That place. And that white house right there. We done it. We done the church. We done this place right here. We done this one. We done that one. And we done that one. And the trailer right up there behind that. We done that place up there too. That was doing uh, I think that made a 14 for the day, and like I said, you know, yet not everybody can do it. I know. I'm just saying, if you do, if you got properties, you can do. After it's rain, was solid. This is solid right here. Where we everything we done here was like on a hill, a downhill slope, and we got them all done. And there's more that we can do, but we're not going to do them today because we know they're soft. But we ended up doing 14 today. And right now, it's five, 10 minutes after five, and we usually work till about eight o'clock, 7.30, eight o'clock. But we got about 13 more tomorrow to do, so hopefully we'll be able to get it all done. And, and again, I wanna, tomorrow I have to take my wife for, take her down there and for a chemo treatment. I have to leave her because I can't be with her. But I ask each and every one of you to, that pray can continue to pray for my wife and and we'll talk to you later. God bless each and every one of you.